Sean McCartney, been really feeling the offseason depression. All I see is rumors and predictions that make no sense. Need my fix of Steelers football ASAP. Mm-hmm. No, I feel you, man. It's definitely that time of year. There was an Aaron Donald trade rumor that popped up recently. I saw that. I saw that. I was like, yeah, we, we are to that. It was, it was a little bit more feasible <clears throat> like five months ago when yeah. we had cap space and free agency and we didn't have right. a draft. Right now our roster is pretty much set. I'm like, where? How does this fit? <laughs> how does that work? Who, who, who's getting got? Well, I'll give you how it could happen. All right, who's getting cut? Let's start. Well, there. it has to be midseason. Okay. Rams are sucking. Our defensive line is sucking. Or we have injuries or something. <laughs> and then the Rams would have to take on like all of Aaron Donald's contract. And all of and those we could give them don't some draft sound picks. realistic, though, right? Am I tripping? Our defensive line is not going to suck. That's what I'm saying. Rams might. The Rams definitely might. But are the Rams going to say, hey, we're going to do a fire sale and take on all the AD's contract while letting Almost you get them? Almost all of it, yeah. Yeah, while you can get them and be productive. No, I just don't know, man. Hey, you know how they're saying with Dame Lillard in Portland, Portland's got to do right by Dame. <laughs> You could say the same with the same about the Rams with AD. Man, oh no, bro. They could. I oh, mean, no, bro. got them that ring. Oh no, bro. One of the best defensive players of all time, and oh, he's yeah. been with the Rams this, this oh, whole. Yes, yeah. yes, he definitely has, man. Send him home. Send him back to the Steel City. Take care of him. We'll give you a first round pick back. But I'm gonna pay for it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's rebuild time oh. anyway. Do right by AD. And I gotta pay for it while we rebuild it. Ah. Oh. Ah. What do you think about that uh, The Dame and Portland stuff And he just wants to go to Miami Cause that's a, It's a similar it scenario is. I'm bringing up Like I feel yeah. like Miami couldn't even give him anything back That's good Yeah, I just look at it a little bit differently Yes they're both loyal but AD want a ring So I think AD has a little bit more If we're gonna do the If I'm you're gonna, gonna do it Yeah right. I'm gonna do it for AD Dame I'm like Dame I'm old enough to remember When you was talking bad about the people that was leaving and now you finally have realized that, oh, there is no other way in the current climate without me getting more help here. Unless they would have got Wemby. That's, that's, unless you they got, took that chance. Like Giannis, right? When Giannis was like, I'm not leaving, but you were able to get a Middleton. You were able to get a Drew Holiday. You were able to get uh, the Lopez brother. You know what I mean? So it was like you had pieces around. Portland, you had CJ McCollum for a little bit. They gave you, I'm trying to think. Hassan was out there for like a, no, he wasn't out there. Who? I'm trying to think. They sent Whiteside out there for like a little bit. Uh, that like one little bit to try to give him dude, some help. That but dude. right, Ooh, but that I'm was like, a terrible but other than that, Miami. they've never given him pieces out there. So you just like, bro, you want you we gotta do like everybody else do, man. You're not special like that. I don't think anyone wanted to go to Portland either. That's you know. That's why LeBron left Cleveland the first time. But all I'm saying is you talk smack about these folk leaving and doing all that early on now you in the same boat if i'm portland i don't know how i feel because i might be feeling like you know what no man you're staying here bro i need you i don't know or i'm gonna go or, or i'm gonna send you where i can get the most assets for myself yeah yeah i don't like, think you just send yeah, my that's what I'm Tyler saying. Hero. Like, yeah i'm like i'm cool on that bro like yeah you were low you hit a shot on paul george like you were dominant yes but in terms of the organization we haven't went anywhere Ah. And you just then he just signed a mega deal? Yes. <laughs> so what we do it? Unless it was a little wink wink behind the scenes like yo, I'll sign this, but like what hey. The, Cause I wonder like if Paul I'm looking George, to get out of here, can you do right by me? Because I think of like Paul George when he signed his deal in OKC and then left to go with Kawhi right <laughs> after that. <laughs> it's like, yo, like that's what I feel like right now. Like, bro, you just signed. Bag bag, bro. They about to just bounce on me too. Like, God dang. That's the NBA culture. It is right now, man. It is. KD just did it with the Nets. I'm just like, man, you literally just signed that deal. And now you like, I'm a hot let y'all. I don't know. But that's just me. But maybe the Rams uh do that. Yeah. With AD. Do right by AD. Do right by Send AD. Them Send them here. And take you take the bag. We we just take the player. Y'all take the expense. <laughs> I don't even know if that's possible either. I don't either. It feels like it is because when some of these deals get made, you'll hear that, oh, teams are going to be taking on this percentage of it yeah. or like a, a certain portion. But like you can never find that number before the trade actually happens. You can yeah. never figure it out. But then somehow it, it feels like a lot of times it's some arbitrary number that the teams just agree upon. Yeah, which is kind of crazy. 
I don't know. A lot of smoke and mirrors. Maybe I'm off on this. But but that's also why I I always look at that cap and I'm like, I don't know if I should really believe all of that. Like randomly with with the Allen Robinson trade. Uh All right, we're taking on five million of that this year. Okay. Did anyone know that for a fact before the trade was happening? Exactly. I feel you. Trust my feel you, man. Five million, man. It makes a ton of sense. Yep. We'll we'll do something like that. How'd you come up with that number? AD. So AD, <laughs> uh, his cap hits really bad next year. It's like yeah. 32 mil. I think this year it's 26. We'll take on like 25% of that. There you go. Just we'll take on number. 25%. Whole number. Whole number. 25% sound good. So like this year yeah. that would Why be... Why not 23%? You want to go 23%? I'll even do 30. I'll go 30. Okay. We'll, make, make we'll 30, take 10 30, million we'll of that for next year, and that make would probably 31%. be around 8 million this year. There you go. I'll do that for them. Yeah. It might even be less, though, if the trade happens mid-season. He said, I'll do that for the... That's the least we could do. <laughs> so, it's, yeah, so they're not taking on the full contract. <laughs> See, well, I'll man, send him a first. Yeah. I'll send him a first for AD for two years. There you go. go ahead. Would you do that? If I'm getting AD for two years and they taking on all the contract or the majority of the contract... 70%. It's, 60, a, it's 70%. a no-brainer. But it sounds like a fleece of a job, a, a, a hose deal. They would probably love a first-round pick, though. Yeah, but they don't love everything else that comes with that deal, though. Do right by AD. That sounds like jankiness, man. That sounds real jankiness, man. <laughs> what if mm. AD? No, he, AD's got to do the NBA thing. I'm not playing for any other. That's team. what he would have to do. <laughs> he would have to take that stance. You trade me anywhere else with the Steelers, I retire. Football's tough, though. I don't know if you live. I don't know if it works like that all the way with football. Basketball, I think like he could pull it off because he's got enough money up to this point and he enough does. legacy. He is the one guy that probably could do because he would retire. But that's what I'm saying. The game would keep going though, like. But what the Rams? It, it's almost like the Roger scenario. Ram, for the Rams, you would if AD is going to sit out and not play for your team. Wouldn't you want a first round pick or some pick? I would. So yeah, I, I think that I think that's how AD is going to do it. And at least with AD, he hasn't given them the Rogers either. Where it's been like the back and forth, yeah, the, you know, the temperament stuff like that. So I don't know. Oh I'm giving God. AD a path to get to the Steel City here, there where it, it makes is, sense man. for both sides. I don't know if it still makes sense for both sides, but it definitely makes sense for us. It makes sense for AD and the Steelers. Yes. Not, I, I never said the Rams. Rams. Not Definitely not the Rams. If I'm the Rams, I'm like, how does this work for us again? I feel like we're getting the short end of this thing, however you slice it right now, man. And it's costing me on top of that. <laughs> do, right, do right by AD? Yeah, yeah. Send him home? Mm-hmm.